is that uh, we, we need to agree. I agree with senators that have said, Mr. Speaker, because I wanted to be short, uh, short because they say brevity is the soul of wit. Mr. Speaker, what I can say at this point in the issue of health, under Article 43, Mr. Speaker, right to health and economic social rights is a fundamental right. In fact, it is in the Constitution that the President of the Republic of Kenya, President Uru, must give us the reports on the status of implementation of economic and social rights. Right to health is so key. I've looked at uh, the, the issue of uh, that there is health. Mr. Speaker, we agree that our counties are suffering. Even as we talk, in March 2021, Nandi County Assembly, through its ad hoc committee, tabled a report in Nandi County Assembly on the investigation into COVID funds. And they found that in Kapsabet County Referral Hospital, there was a dysfunctional oxygen plan. And in fact, one, one lady allegedly died due to lack of oxygen. The problem of health is so rampant. But the question is, is it a threshold to impeach a governor? Because if we were to impeach a governor, does it mean, and I want uh, Senator Cheruya to listen to this, does it mean that if there is dysfunctional, I agree that executive authority, the governor should be careful, he should be ahead of things, but provision of lack of this, does it mean that this ground is impeachable for governor? The elephant in the room, and I've said before, Mr. Speaker, an answer can bear me. The national treasury under CS Ukuria Tani, under Article 219, has been violating the law. As we talk, 2020-2021 is coming to an end. Counties are owed more than 100 billion. So how do you imagine counties to function when the national treasury is violating Article 219 by not releasing sufficient funds? I wish when we were discussing this impeachment, almost the last trench of Wajir County government should have been deposited in their accounts. Because, Mr. Speaker, the running, and I agree, I have seen they have allocated 2.4 billion to the health department in, in, in Wajir County government executive. I wish, Mr. Speaker, even as we discuss about the impeachment of governor here, Mahamud, we should be very keen and ask the National Treasury to release money so that our counties can function, so that services can be delivered. Mr. Speaker, on the aspect, and I agree that health has failed, even Mr. Speaker, Senator Kajua raised a very important point. At the national level, you will find a cabinet secretary in charge of health, Mutai Kagwe, is discussing irrelevancies as to oppose that when we are getting the second AstraZeneca vaccine. Should we impeach President Uhuru Kenyatta? Should we move a vote of confidence against Mutai Kagwe? Because he's busy discussing BBI as opposed as to telling us when is COVID coming to the country. Those are of no that, that those are serious issues that we must ask ourselves. As we talk today, Kenyans are yet to receive vaccine, Mr. Speaker. Kenyans are now the only strategy that we have. When COVID, or uh, I've seen, and I don't know whether it's now economical or what, they are saying in July there is a fourth wave of COVID. The only weapon the government will put in place, lockdown, uh, ensure you close everybody down, restrictions and what have you. Yet we are not discussing vaccine. So the point is you need now to scale down to the level of Wajir County. Mr. Speaker, and therefore, I think the issue of health is so personal, and I think we need a concerted effort on how we can deal with this when it comes, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, finally, because I'm seeing the light uh, is going, uh, and I agree, I support county assembly that they need autonomy, and I hope as there is a gap that we need to put legislation so that they can have a vote in Treasury, Mr. Speaker, so that they don't really, because I know we had an issue of Mombasa County, and I remember then the Evolution Committee, we sat and discussed with Mombasa County Assembly and Mombasa County Government where the funds were being stuffed uh, uh, by, the, by the county government so that the county, uh, county assembly does not function properly, Mr. Speaker. So, Mr. Speaker, I agree that the county assembly should have autonomy and uh, going forward into the future. Finally, Mr. Speaker, because I will make my decisions as I consult the oracles of, uh, and uh, talk to Koitale Darab Sabwe, and many others, Mr. Speaker, is finally, I want to, my plea to the people of Wajir, County Assembly, and the Governor. 
and specifically the governor 